Hello everyone, my name is Chance Brunton, and welcome back to StarCraft 2! This time we're on Everdream Ladder Edition against Almond Milk. And we win! Perfect! We encountered a smurf! <laughs> oh, who would have thought? Okay. Well, I guess that counts as a win. So, <laughs> we'll take that. If we can get it. Perfect! That that increases my um, my placement on the ladder. So I guess that must have been a Smurf account where they're just instantly trying to lose games to lower their rank to hide the fact that they're a good player. I don't know. <laughs> I've never fully understood that, but we'll just we'll take it and move on. Hello everyone! My name is Jens Brunton and welcome back to StarCraft 2. This time we'll be on Eternal Empire Ladder Edition against Coaches. I think. Oh, and this time we're Zerg. Okay, that's going to... that's gonna change things. So, let's see, this is our natural, shift 2, shift F3. This map looks kind of familiar, but it's a new map, it's definitely not familiar. Oh, we should have spawned Overlords much earlier, shouldn't we? Ugh. Okay, Overlord timing is a little earlier than the Terran uh, Supply Depot. Should have built an Overlord practically straight away, apparently. But I guess we can get a spawning pool, depending on... No, the Overlord's gonna pop, we should build drones. I'm not sure when to scout as a Zerg, actually. Ooh, that's an interesting question. Let's go ahead and get a spawning pool, just so that we have some options. And then keep droning up. I guess once the spawning pool pops, then we'll build a couple Lings, and we'll send the Lings across as a scout. Oh, the Overlord. We should probably be sending the Overlord to the other edge of the map just to give us a little bit more in the way of vision. Also, the spawning pool gives us queens. I forgot about that. We're gonna need queens. I think it's getting to be about that time when we should now build our expansion hatch. Now, Zergs... Oh, of course you're blocking the hatchery. And I think a probe wins straight up. Oh, okay. Well. That's a very interesting move. So, he's cannoning. Or, is he cannoning, or is he just going to block? Can we... Can we get this hatchery down? Yeah, let's just build a hatchery here. Oh, he cancelled. Alright, well, joke's on you. I'm gonna hatch over here, then. And I'm gonna go for the double hatch. You think you've messed me up? Well, no. On the contrary. I was never had my act together to begin with. What am I doing? Um, Roachworn, go for it. Not enough mineral. Go, surprise, Roachworn. Uh oh. Uh, also, we need queens. I forgot about queens. I started spending minerals. recklessly, and I forgot that I do need queens. Okay. Um. Where- so where's the Zerglings buddy? Okay, let's get them all on a hotkey. We need order here with our Zerglings. You're gonna need more overlords! And we're also gonna You're need more overlords. Minerals. Thank you, Diva. Are you saturated yet? No, I'm not saturated. Thank you for asking. I'm working on it. I'm close, on the main base. Spawn more overlords! The overlord is getting there. Uh... I need more overlords! Let's just build lots of overlords, and then build Zerglings, and we need queens. Okay, we can build roaches now. That's you good. We can throw some roaches into the mix. And then we need to start droning at our other bases as well. Oh god, now comes the larva injections. So right now we mostly just need drones. We need a lot of drones. I've over-expanded. It always feels so good to be greedy until then it comes back to bite you. Also, I'm not working on creep spread at all. Oh god, I suck at this game. Alright, uh, I guess the next thing we need is we really need queens to improve our injects at the moment. Because we need more larva for drones. Of which we do not have enough. Oh god, I'm so far behind now. I actually, I actually did far... I way overreacted to his pylon because of the... Uh, the previous games, and so we now I've minerals. dug myself into a bit you of an economic hole. Are you Can we get a scout minerals? around? He has his second base up. That's good. That's that means he's not be he's being 
I don't want to say greedy, but he's not being super aggressive. Our forces are under attack. Uh, are we building a second queen yet? Okay, he's he's attacking the overlord. He's got the robo bay. He's got a little bit of stuff built up. I would like to have seen more than that. Let's just build a few combat units if we can. Oh, he's got a phoenix. Well, that's good to know. We're gonna build an evolution chamber straight away, just so that if he's if he's going heavy air, we need to know about that. So we have a queen down there, we have a queen there, we need another queen here, and a third queen for creep spread, just for good measure. Let's get a creep tumor down. Alright, we're slowly starting to get back to a good place. The problem is, where is he? He's probably doing a lot better right now. Alright, we're gonna start working on missile attacks. Need more minerals. For roaches, and then what does it take for a hydralisk den? We need a layer. Let's start mutating the lair, because I suspect... Why is there a queen in my... Oh, I see an observer. I don't have detection. How do I get detection as you a zerg? A How do I morph an observer? Oh, I need lair tech or something, don't I? All right. Uh, so we have all of our queens now. That's good. That also gives us a little bit of anti-air protection. Let's just build some more roaches, some more zerglings, and we're going to need some more overlords. I wonder if I can, like, you know, poke at him with this. Probably not. Oh, I don't know if that's even a good idea to try. No, I'm not auto-casting. I'm just really bad at energy management. How's this coming? We probably want to get double sets of upgrades going. I'm concerned about how little we know about the enemy. Oh, that's just an animal, not him. We also probably want Zergling speed. And then now we can morph detection, um, and we need a hydralisk den badly. Um, we also need just a bunch more drones everywhere, and larva injects, and a macro hatch. Sure. <laughs> Why not? Just throw everything in the kitchen sink. In. Oh, perfect! His base is exposed. We might be able to get a little bit of harass done. Come on, bring it down, bring it down! Yes! We're also gonna actually be able to do some damage here. Oh, get that sentry, get that sentry! Yes, that's a hundred gas you're not getting back. Oh, let's get some hydras into the mix. Uh, oh god, I didn't mean to look away! Run away! Run away! Ow, I mismanaged my army there, but that's fine. Alright, we're gonna get uh, mov movement speed for roaches, we're gonna get missile attack 2, we're gonna get carapace 1, and we have way too many minerals, not enough gas, so we're gonna build a bunch of zerglings, and we're gonna start morphing some extractors. That field's been mined out. Hope you have an and then, hydralisk attack speed or range, what was that? <laughs> My camera's actually blocking what that was. <laughs> attack range, sure. Let's get some more larva injects going. And creep spread, creep spread. Got to keep that creep spread going. Uh, all right, we're not we're not doing terribly right now. Let's move out with some of these units. I want to keep him off of that base if we can. Uh, where did that observer even go? I'm a little concerned about that. Uh, we need we need some more overlords. That's important. Uh, oh yeah, we're supply blocked. Right. Okay, are we ready to go? Let's jump in! Oh my god! Okay, well, let's... Can we get the Colossus down? Oh, he's he's really prepared for this. Oh god. Uh, that's bad. Get a Spire immediately for Corruptors. And, oh, this is bad. We have way too little Vespine gas because we're not mining any Vespine gas. Uh, let's get some additional drones in here so that we can set up our Vespine gas mines. And then we've got the Spire on the way. Uh, ooh, more roaches, I guess, actually. Roaches are probably our best bet for ground forces against those, um, 
Did we? I accidentally canceled my groove spines. Complete. Oh, that's not what I wanted. Mineral gone. Looks like we're going to the late game. Okay. Uh, let's get more carapace upgrades and more roaches as soon as possible. Oh, we finally killed that observer. That's good. And then I need more creep spread. My creep spread is absolutely atrocious. We really need more creep spread. Alright, has this thing popped yet? No, we need the air. We need those corruptors to be able to do some serious damage. Uh, oh, there we go. Oh, I accidentally built a bunch of... Oh, we need more overlords anyway. I accidentally built a bunch of roaches instead of um, lings. I meant to build lings because we're a little high in minerals, low in gas. But I guess that's gonna have to do. That field's been mined out. All right, come on, overlords. Where are the overlords? There they are. All right, we're building a few corruptors. Might be time to expand. Evolution complete. That's good. <laughs> so old school. <laughs> Evolution complete. So old school. Well, that's perfect because they're attacking a creep. They're attacking. So much for your creep spread. Come on, quickly. Uh, kill the colossi, please. For the love of God, kill the colossi before they do too much additional damage. Yes. Okay. We've got the colossi dead. That's good. This has gone very poorly otherwise. Not enough minerals. We are dead, I think. tumors under attack. Nice strategy. Uh Yeah, I, ju I just I don't think there is enough here to be able to deal with this. You're engaging the opponent. Time to raise your APM. Does he have high ground vision? Your drones are under attack. Talk about BM. Yes, he does. Why does he have high ground vision? Why does he has? Need I don't know. Minerals, but there are All right, so we're going to lose our third here. So and I think we're just going to lose everything, because I think he's got way too much to deal with here. Uh, charge in. Oh, those disruptor shots are massive. Yeah. I didn't do a good job of dodging the disruptors. Mutation. Okay, this game is over. GG! Accidentally all in caps locks. <laughs> Cap caps lock. Okay. Let's quit and check out the replay for that. Alright, so in the lower left, we are the Red Zerg. And in the upper right, we have Cochis, the Blue Protoss. So what did we not do? Okay, so the first thing he does is he sends an immediate probe. Now this is interesting. This probe is very early. Like, why is he sending a probe that early? Was he originally intending to maybe cannon rush and then change his mind? Or is it a mind game? Normally you wouldn't send probe until at least after first pylon. Also, you'd normally build the pylon up towards the choke point area. I guess it's less important for Protoss than it is for somebody like Terran. Because Protoss isn't really looking to make a full wall. But normally you do want to narrow the choke point, especially against like a Zerg who might be aggressive. So we get the spawning pool. So he just ducks up the ramp. He does. Oh, he just goes far enough to see we're Zerg. And then he backs off. He's actually really slow in getting anything done at home. Like, where's his gateway? He's floating 300 minerals. Okay, so now he's building a forward pylon? He still doesn't have a gateway. Like, if we'd built six lings, we could have won at this point. So maybe I needed an earlier scout for more information? That's a possibility. He still has nothing that can do damage. Our spawning pool is almost finished. He hasn't even started his gateway yet. Oh, for he was building a forge, and then he switched to a gateway. He was really thinking about the cannon there. But his probe is getting chased off. So he goes double gateway, so now he's trying to catch up again. Now at this point, I don't even realize that he's canceled his pylon. I could just go ahead and build my na- I should have been paying attention. I could have just built my natural in the right spot, recalled all my drones, little damage would have been done. 
I could, if I'd noticed my spawning pool was finished, also build some zerglings. Like, at this point, if I'd flung some zerglings across the map, they could maybe have done some damage. That should have been my instant thought. Instead, I was greedy, and I was like, I'll just double hatch. No. In fact, I've already got my zerglings. They could be running on their way right now. They could be halfway across the map at this point. They should have been. Because they could have gotten into his mineral line before he even had zealots out. I could have ended the game in like five minutes, or at least crippled his economy in the first five minutes. That is something that I totally missed out on. That would have been much better than the immediate third hatch. And then, because like, I could be harassing him right now with my zerglings, he could be panicking over it and losing probes left, right, and center. And on the back of that, then I could be building this third hatch. And it would be a little bit later, but I'd be doing so much economic damage it wouldn't matter. So, that was my primary mistake, I think, this game. Was, I went for a panic double hatch, and it was just, a, it was just a terrible decision. And he knows he can be greedy, because he saw me put down that third hatch. So he knows that he's totally throwing me off at this point. Despite my objections to the otherwise. Again, I'm just sitting around. Like, at this point... Well, our army's pretty even, but I should be more aggressive. If I hadn't built a third hatch, if I just stayed on a second hatch, focused on getting units, I should have been gearing up at this point for an attack. I could have double or triple his army supply. Oh my god, it was a hallucinated phoenix! I forgot that was even a thing! It wasn't real! I thought he might be going Stargate, which is why I then went Evolution Chamber for, uh, for anti-air. He doesn't even have a Stargate! He's only got a Rob- he's going Robo! He's going the opposite of a Stargate! And quick Robotics Bay, too. Cause he's seen that we've got roaches, he's seen ground forces. And so he's like, ah, I know what I'll do with this. I'm gonna build Colossus, because that's gonna absolutely wreck him. And he was totally right about that. He is floating quite a bit of money, but then again, so are we, actually. Like, we should not be floating this much. Partly because the build order... My build totally got screwed up, and so I just was all over the place in what I was building, and that's why the minerals and gas were floating so high. A lot of times, I was supply blocked, or I didn't have the larva, and so there just wasn't an ability to spend the money that I was getting appropriately. Now, this was fortuitous timing, that he would happen to be setting up his third base right as I was gearing up for an attack. Now, I should have been aggressive all game before that, but this was a good time to attack. Although, uh, there was no way for me to know that. So I do manage to get that Nexus down. And then I get a Sentry Snipe. So this is good! At this point, I should have been paying attention and pulled back a little quicker to save some roaches. And then I saw he was going all Stalker. So, let me see. Isn't there a... Options... Isn't there a thing here that, like, says what units are good against what other units? Or am I thinking of that as, like, a single player or a custom game thing. I thought there was like a, a big scorecard that says what units are good against other units. Because we need something to tear these sentries apart. If he goes mass sentry, what is good against a sentry? Er, uh, not sentry, not mass sentry. Uh, mass stalker. I guess probably roach is good against stalker because stalkers are good against light units and I think a roach is armored. So roaches would have been good ex until the Colossus come out. Now this is the point where I need a scout. I'm not really sure what I could do about that. I guess if I had an overlord speed, I could do a flyby. I'm not sure if that's regular though. Now, as soon as I saw these things, I should have run away. I, I, I dove in there hoping to jump on top of them and be able to do some damage quick. That was a bad move. As soon as I saw all those Colossus, I should have said, I'm not prepared for this and hightailed it out of there and immediately started building the Spire. The Spire is a good decision because the Corruptors are anti-air, which even though Colossus is a ground unit, it can be targeted by anti-air, so that they could rip him apart. Uh, although he's got a lot of Stalkers, but Corruptors are armored, and Stalkers are good against light units, so the Corruptors could do some severe damage before the Stalkers could really hurt them, and that's his only anti-air as well. So if I had a good number of Corruptors, it would cancel out his Colossus, and I could overrun him. So that that was a good answer. It was a little too little too late, to be honest. And I just have no map control. 
At this point, I should have some zerglings all over the map just to spot when he's moving out. And I was really bad about creep spread, so I didn't see things coming. Like, the creep, if the creep on the third base had been further out, it would have given me more time to react. Not that that would have done much for me. At this point, I'm not really sure what I could do because I just don't have an answer for the Colossus. I do manage to bring the Colossus down, but at this point, it's, it's too late because I don't have an army anymore. So this is where the game just ended. Because now he's, he's got free reign and I've got no units. I mean, technically I have a 52 army supply. I'm kind of shocked. I guess that's mostly these Corruptors. But these Corruptors are useless at this point because the Colossus have already been dealt with. If I had just a... What would have been... What would have been good here? And then, of course, the Disruptor shot. By that time, it was really too late. If I had had more scouting information to see the Colossus, that would have been big. I'm not really sure how to get that scouting information. Maybe with some Ling running bys, have Lings just generally around the map. And I could have maybe saved and had an overlord in position to run by a little later in the game, a sacrificial overlord. He might have been able to spot it. Oh man, there was even a dark shrine. So he was getting ready to get me if I didn't have detection. But the main thing was, I, before he got to this point, I should have stopped them by being far more aggressive. Once I had seen that scouting attempt go wrong, I should maybe have only built one expansion, built aggressively, and then pushed. That is probably the main takeaway from this game in order to do better in future. But, you know, that's what all this is about. Learning from each game, going over it, figuring out what went wrong, and then doing better next time. Anyway, thank you all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you all in the next video.